Today we are learning to think and act like artists. We are studying value today. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. Value has three parts. A tint is a light color, a shade is a darker color, and a hue is a regular pure color. A tint is made by mixing a hue plus white, and a shade is made by mixing a hue plus black. It's important to understand value because the lightness or darkness of your artwork affects the mood of the artwork. Today we are going to use a hue and mix it with black and white to make tints and shades. When it's done, it might look like this. Here we have the hue. The lighter colors are the tints. The darker colors are the shades. Or it might look like this. The colors change depending on what hue you choose. So here's the hue. The lighter colors are the tints. The darker colors are the shades. You'll need a hue, black and white paint, the brush and water and a sponge if you want one. Do not get these cups of paint dirty. You have to wash your brush in between colors and make sure that it's clean before you take the next color. To start, paint the first box with the hue by itself, like this. Fill in the box and then stop and wash your brush. Do that now and then stop. In the next box, we're making a tint. Make sure that your brush is clean, then take white and put it in the box. Stir out your brush and add the hue. Stir them together to make a circle and then fill in the box. Fill in the box and then stir out your brush. We just made a tint. You can see that it's a lighter color because the white is mixed in. Do that now and then stop. Now I want you to make another tint. Don't mix it the same color as the tint you already have. Try to make it a little lighter or darker. Make sure your brush is clean. Take white, wash your brush, take a little bit of the hue. I'm gonna use less so that it will come out lighter. Make the circle and fill in the box. It looks like we just made a tint that's lighter. We have more white and less hue. Do that now and then stop. Now we're making shades. Start with the hue. The hue first, stir out your brush, and when you take black, only take a little bit, a tiny bit, because a little bit of black goes a long way. Just a little speck, mix it in a circle, and fill in the box. We just made a shade. Do that now, and then stop. Now I want you to make another shade in the next box. We don't want it to be the same color as the shade we already have, so we want it to be a little bit lighter or darker. We're starting with the hue again. The hue is first. Wash your brush. And we just want a little bit of black. Just a little bit. Mix them together to make the circle, and then fill in the box. Now our second hue, our shade is done. If your shades come out looking like they're the, exactly the same color, you need to fix that. Pick one of your shades and add more of the hue to it. So in this case, more blue to it to make it a little bit bluer because we want them to be two different shades. Do that now and then stop. We have one box left. Now I want you to try mixing all three colors, white, black, and your hue, to see what you get. When you're taking your paint, don't get those cups of paint dirty. Be careful. We've got white, black, and the hue. Let's mix them all together and see what we get. So what we have is a grayish blue, and the word for that is called a tone. A tone is a hue mixed with black and white. So we just made a tone. Let's fill in the box. And we are all done. What we just made is called a monochromatic color scheme. A monochromatic color scheme is when you have tints and shades using one hue. So in this case, the hue was blue. 
I want you to remember that what we just made is called a monochromatic color scheme, so we're going to practice saying it together. A, B, C, monochromatic color scheme. A, B, C, monochromatic color scheme. A, B, C, monochromatic color scheme. Great job creating your monochromatic color scheme. When you're done, I want you to leave it on the table and let it dry a little bit. Take your paintbrush and stir that out in the water one final time. Good job, kids.